Ah, <sighs> guys, so when Billy went uh, 10 rounds with Devrinchenko, um, the hype train is over, and Billy is not the guy that maybe some of us thought. I mean, Devrinchenko is shot as shot can be. I give Devrinchenko all the props in the world, but before we continue, let me thank you guys. Not let's. Let me thank you guys who are new here and stopping by for the first time. Thank you very much for stopping in. Consider subscribing. And if you're a current subscriber, checking me out again, please thank you for supporting the channel. Um, it's a very small channel. Uh, I took a long hiatus, about two weeks, because I moved into a new house. So you see this thing back here? It's terrible, but I'm going to try to get this little studio going, but it's going to take me some time. But now, let's talk about what's going on. So, and Billy. And Billy, I thought, was looking like a good prospect, you know, looked strong, um, fast, yada, yada, yada. Devrinchenko was going to be his litmus test. Devrinchenko's old, man. He has been through the toughest. He's lost every super fight he's ever fought in, but I believed he could have knocked out and probably beat Triple G. Um, but he was coming off a two-year layoff at that point. Um, Devrinchenko kind of ruined his own career, in a sense. By taking a layoff, fighting no one, and jumping right into the fray with Triple G. And then every fight after that was just another super guy, right? He became the gatekeeper. And then that's just what he is now. It was too late for him. It was just too late for Devrinchenko. And and Billy should have smoked him out the water. And Billy should have came in here um, and just destroyed Devrinchenko. But he didn't. He, he went 10 rounds with him. Couldn't get him out of there. Maybe he could have, but he didn't. And basically now the hype train is over. Like now I know that he is a hype train. He just looked, didn't look like the guy that I thought it would look like that could challenge for Canelo. Canelo would easily take him Billy apart. It wouldn't take much. Um, maybe he's, maybe, maybe slightly better than Berlanga. I would rather see him Billy versus Berlanga than Berlanga versus Canelo or in Billy versus Canelo. I think those kind of fights, those lower tier fights between guys who are hype jobs have seem seemingly some power um and, and and great like physiques that look like superheroes right fight each other and those make for good fights those make for good those are great undercard guys that give us something to look forward to before the main event arises that's what that is to me um and so while in billy you know i thought was going to be the next big thing out of canada it is not going to be that it, it, it's it it was kind of upsetting to see i wanted him to knock out Devrinchenko and his career, get him out of here and say, hey, thank you for all that you've done and what you could have been, but you never got to because of your own doing. I mean, this guy is old, man. He couldn't get out the way. Even he said it in the post. He just couldn't throw the shot. Devrinchenko was like, I saw the shot and could not pull the trigger. That tells you that that man's career is over. And then Billy should have, as a prospect that is going to be next level, next tier, superstar should have got him out of there. No offense or buts, and he didn't do that. That was his test. That was the moment when we were going to say, okay, and Billy, now this is his chance. This is his shot. Caleb beats him. All the upper tier guys beat him. You know, he would have to make a drastic change. He would have to make a drastic change in his team, in his style, in, 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 his, in, in everything else, his shot, shot selection, um, and, and be taught how to put a guy away. You know, how to package that guy up and boom, put him away. He doesn't they, they, he doesn't know how to do that. So I don't see how M. Billy really gets to the next level without making some serious, serious, serious changes. Um, and, you know, let's it'd be fun to see if he does make those changes. Um, because if he can, he looks the part. He looks the part. Of course, um, the commentators for the network were drastically just saying, oh, Canelo, stay away from him. Billy, you don't want none of that, blah, blah, blah. But you, what, you, what do you think? Canelo would have done to Devrinchenko, okay? So, anyway, you know, that that's my take on it. I, I mean, I really thought that. I I thought I would see him really come out and be a superstar, and he didn't do that at all. So, it just, for me, that hype train is over with. Um, chalk that up. He'll get a fight somewhere else, and if he goes elite, he'll get exposed. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think that Billy is the next guy up? Do you think that it's just me overreacting? Or you really think that he's a hype job going coming up and it was being built to, you know, cash out? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.